welcome to my channel. This is me and this is my cat. I'm forcing her to say hi and be more social. I'm going to show you how I installed the IKEA God Morgan bathroom vanity. I uh, skipped a few parts but I went back to it. I wanted to make the vanity first and then install it on the wall so that's what you'll see in the future in the video and um, come with me as we start. So this little knife right here is just saying that you don't even need a knife to open it, I think. And you just karate chop it and it'll open itself nicely. See, it's I did it so you can do it too. And it's recommending to have two people do this, but I'm stubborn and I just did it by myself. But it's definitely easier to have two people. Here's the supplies and materials that it comes with. These are just little extensions that go onto the drawer and the handles for the door. So there are two bags that come in the package. There's bag one and bag two. They are clearly marked. You'll find them when you open the bag. Coming upon step one, let's begin. Take bag one and it's going to tell you to take out these two large panels. They look like this. And we're going to screw in some nails into the holes that are shown on the paper. I know I'm just pointing to the holes, but you're going to take the little square thingies right here. Uh, it'll show right there. These mounts and the screws so these screws right here are the ones that you're using only two per hook you can follow the placement of the hook as seen so that circle part is just gonna face up and out and then it should line up exactly to the side or the edge of each panel. So that way those two holes will be screwed in. And it looks like this when finished with just that part. <laughs> Step two is just saying we have these other screws. They look like little jackhammers and you're going to fill them into every other hole like see how there's three holes you're just going to screw them into each one except for the middle ones see it's the same one but for this one it's just the corner end and it's the same replica on the other panel as well so whatever you're doing to one panel you're doing the same exact to the other and it says you don't need a screwdriver but i use one because for me it was just easier but you can use the hand uh, driver as well. It's fine. Step three is taking these wooden pallets and just inserting them into the middle. Those like small holes you'll see. It'll only fit into those small holes. And keep in mind that it's on both ends. So you're slipping them into this end as well as the other side up here just like that. In step four, it tells you exactly where to place those panels onto the sidings. So this uh, skinny piece right here will go to where it has only two screws and the rest will clearly show how it fits in. So that one has going right there. You just notice that there's basically um, like these bigger ones have three holes so obviously it goes to where you see those two other metal scroll screws and you just slide them right in and don't worry it will be secured that's where step five comes in so we have some screws that look like this from the same package and you just place them inside these holes it's just a little twist and lock uh, business that you do so you just place it see that screw and if you notice like there's a little gap right there so just place that over the screw and twist and lock bend and snap <laughs> I'm just kidding 
<laughs> and you definitely will need your screwdriver and just to finish that off. So now it looks like this. We're so much farther along than we, we were, right? Step six is placing the other side on top. So this parallel side piece right here just slips right over and make sure you keep them aligned like those hooks that we installed first those will go parallel to the other metal pieces on the bottom so and and there are holes there that you'll see just just slide them in and just um, secure them on make sure that there's no space when you put it in should go in nice and firm like that step seven just adding in those same twist and lock screws and the, all the rest of the holes and it just looks like that so we are skipping to step 14 because uh prior to that it's going to tell you how to install it on the wall but we're just going to continue on with building the drawers so step 14 is telling you to now use bag number two and this is how we operate so we're going to take these little ballerina looking umbrella <laughs> screws and don't use these ones these ones with the gray sides are not the ones you want you want these ones with little indentation also notice how there are uh, bigger panels like two and two smaller panels so just take those screws and you're going to place them on the holes the outer the outer holes so see how there's like one there and one there so not the middle ones and it comes out looking like this Now for step 15, we're just taking the wooden pellets and placing them into the rest of the holes. So there and there and the other three holes for each of the bigger ones. Step 16 is pretty easy. You're just placing the sides into the white boards, but it's critical that you get them placed correctly so you see how there's three holes there and then there's one little hole there see so that matches with that one because there's one pellet for there and this one has three holes and these have these three pellets plus the other metal screws so that goes there now look along the sides and you see these two dots those two dots are where the handles go so that's basically the top of the drawer and we're just going to make sure that this indented piece to the side so that that's going to face inside and this is bottom piece is also going to face inside that bottom piece is going to face the bottom of the drawer so this make sure see how the two holes are up there and the bottom piece uh, of the little wood part this indentation right here that's facing towards the bottom it's very important otherwise your drawers will be upside down so just place them inside like that and the same thing goes for this other piece right so notice the small indentation this is a skinnier board this there the two holes are that's the top of the drawer and you're going to slide them into the bottom that indentation piece right there where my thumb is that's going to face towards the bottom and it's going to be uh, facing inwards so just make sure that you get that right Coming along to number 17, step 17, we just slide these beautiful boards into those indented parts. So now you'll see what I was talking about. It's going to slide in and that will be the bottom of the drawer. So where those indented parts are, 
it'll just fit right in to those side pieces and you might have to make a little wiggle room for it but it will go in nicely and there will be security for it later on so we're just trying to fix it up right now here in step 18 we have these other boards there's, there's so many boards that just feel like they're coming out of nowhere right <laughs> um just keep lining those up as well this was the long piece and you're just going to tighten it into the other indented areas so it's just like a little tetris going on you're just gonna slide them in and lock it in place step 19 just saying to secure it with these screws these looking they look like tulips kind of and I, I like this part because I don't know I just think it's kind of fun to use that little uh, I have no clue what it's called but it's like this little pin and you just kind of screw it in you'll see what I mean but they go into those holes right there for each drawer and you see how there's just a bit of a gap that will be fixed when we screw them in properly so you're not using this don't use that there's this piece that comes in the packet with it you can use either end it just depends on how you like to um, go about it but I just go this way rotating clockwise you're just going to twist it in until it locks in and there's no more space and this is the result of your doing just making sure it's twisted in properly nice and secured here we are step 20 where we take these rounded top screws and just place them into the bottom oh i don't know if i would say the bottom but you see these other holes like right there just screw them in that's that and there is the result there's one and the others are done step 21 is just showing you that you have dividers that you can put into the drawers these are optional you place these little tacks onto the side of those gray parts uh, the gray sided pieces and you just kind of twist and turn them into place and they can adjust easily so you can have them there or you don't have to it's just up to you it's just completely optional step 23 we're just going to handle this <laughs> by putting on the handles and uh, this is what they look like you don't have to use these handles you can use your own handles and screw them in yourself but these are what the pack came with and I think they look nice so pretty simple there's holes on the back of the drawer as well as the handles line them up and then just screw them in here's the screws these cute little triangle thingy uh, screws and uh, once again I use my screwdriver very poorly but I still use it anyway and I line it up and screw it in I really feel like I don't even have to take time to explain this it's like it's come on now like it's pretty easy all right see and it is nice and secured your handle will do its job by pulling the drawer out now we're going to uh, step back to steps 8 to 13 which is where we actually mount the vanity onto the wall because we finished everything else we put everything else together so let's just get it on the wall and actually use our bathroom so this is me just trying to measure out how far up the wall I want it to be the instructions tell you the recommendations of how uh, tall or short it should be up from the wall or on the wall away from the floor 
and uh, I forgot how many inches off the ground this is, but um, I it's I measured it and that's how high I want it. And it's easier to just mark it by hand, but I I literally lifted up the whole thing and then marked it right there. I, I don't know why I have to do things so complicated, but you can just take measurements by like a measuring tape so that way you don't have to lift, lift up the whole thing. Here I am trying to use a drill to insert anchors because I just don't trust that it's going to stay up without it. And the anchors are not included because I bought them separately, but you don't have to, but I put anchors in. And just make sure it's lined up properly so that we have a straight vanity as well because that'd be pretty messed up if it's crooked. Just use a little uh, balancer and that'll help show if it's straight or not. And here I am just hammering in the anchor. Once again, this is not required, but I just, I just, I have to trust myself with this and I'm not. Uh, this is just a little thing to pop open the anchor on the other side so it uh, hangs properly. When you do that, and once again, like all these kind of steps, I'm doing it the hard way, but you really just have to put the nails on first and, and then you can put it on there. Like, I'm just, I don't know why I'm doing it this hard way. I literally, I carry the whole thing by hand and I realized looking back at the instructions, I could have just put the nails in and then put these over it. So I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and keep in mind how far away you want it to be from your toilet to your wall. I don't know, like, the placement of it. Just keep in mind you want to have a good space. These hooks right here will go over the screw. So once you put the mount of the vanity on, those go over the screw because that's going to keep it locked in place uh, after you screw it. So see, it's just, it's actually hung onto the wall now. I'm not carrying it. This is pretty cool physics you know and I'm using my balancer and I'm seeing if it's lined properly and it's it's not perfect but it's close enough it's close enough this is just an optional step you can just secure the back with another screw uh, I use the anchors but it's just optional and step 12 is where we actually start to get the drawers ready we have these metal parts uh, step 12 and 13 are kind of the same it's just basically showing you uh, which side each metal piece goes onto and how they latch so there's like different hooks where these holes go into and I'll show you them eventually here's the metal pieces and my video I had to like start taking pictures instead of recording because I was losing a lot of memory but those are the screws you use and see it goes into the third hole up top and the second hole and the back hole you see the, the the placement, the third and then the second hole. And it's the same for the other sides as well. So skip to 24 to 27 because that's how I show you how to actually put the drawers onto the metal parts. Step 24 is saying extend these parts out so it's easier to place them on. And you see how there is a hook on to each side like there's one that's going to be in the back and there's one that's going to go up from the bottom of the drawer and i have pictures that i'll show you but it's just basically how you secure the drawer onto the metal parts so you see there's a hook right there there's a hole in the back of the drawer that's right there that bottom hole um that's going to hook onto that hook and then this other hook is going to sit underneath that hole. If you can see like underneath the drawer, there's a tiny little hole and they must latch on. This is just something to help lock in place, but don't worry too much about that. And once you lock them in, it should be able to just slide in like a regular drawer in out. And finally we have these bumpers, uh, optional as well, but you just place them on. They should be sticky. If not, you can just get some glue and put them on there. And now we see it slides in and it won't like hit the drawer. It just makes a nice quiet noise. Um, I, I already balanced everything, but basically it's just showing, saying like, you're done. <laughs> um, and this is it. It just opens so nice and easily and closes slowly. There doesn't make any noise. And just like that, we are finished. So you're probably wondering, wait, but there's a sink and a 
countertop on yours, <laughs> mine. So that will be explained. I have other videos showing how I did those. So fear not because I have videos. So stay tuned for the videos that I have on my tutorials, how I finished the entire vanity. Um, I'm just working on the editing, but it'll be there. So stick around and thanks for watching.